Hey, what's up guys? We're here, we're gonna hit session two, or day two, as it is on your sheet, uh, of HS6. Uh, we're gonna do week three though, because that's what we're on, but that coincides with week one, two, three, throughout eight or 16, or whatever you're on, um, when you watch this. So, uh, we're gonna start with the primer exercise, and that's gonna be a chest fly, so let's get after it. All right guys, so the first movement here is the primer movement, and that's the chest fly. So first thing we want you to do is have the weight light enough to where you can really initiate with your chest um, and really squeeze through and contract your pecs as hard as possible and get that in the shortest position. <clears throat> Two is gonna be squeezing and pushing your biceps together um, while keeping your scapula depressed and retracted. So it's kind of tricky, so that's why we want the weight to be light to start things off. So we're gonna depress our scapula, keep it retracted, Initiate with our chest and push our biceps together like so. So a couple of tips for the DB bench press are going to be in the setup, we're going to make sure, we are going to make sure that we keep our scapula depressed throughout the entire movement. Um, two are gonna be just to think of your elbows tracking out and back in while pushing your biceps together. And the third one is going to be while you're pushing your biceps back together, the dumbbells are gonna lie right outside or fall right outside of that elbow. Um, and you guys will see that in the execution coming up. So this next movement is the seated horizontal row, and this is arguably the, one of the hardest on the program to actually execute and perform. Um, and one reason, because equipment. Um, so you kind of have to rig up your own bar or attachment per se. So all we do is find a fixed bar that is about the width that you'd want it to be. Um, and then just add handles um, to be able to just create the proper movement pattern that you want to create uh, with that just because we, we don't like fixed bars. So uh, yeah, so just find a bar, it's generally it's the width that you want and then just add handles to that. The next thing that we do is find a bench, um, so just a normal flat bench. Uh, we like to add that to the back to um, kind of create a longer bench so you're allowed for a greater stretch uh, when you do protract your scapula at the end of the movement. So you're just allowed for a greater stretch. So this one doesn't allow for that, so we just add it. Um, so not too complicated. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is gonna be the setup. So you wanna get a wide, stable base because you have a lot of load pulling you that way. Uh, so we need a stable base. The next is just gonna be your torso positioning. So from erect, we're just gonna bring that down to about 45 degrees. And then from there, we're just gonna retract and depress our scapula, pull our elbows down and to our side, and squeeze. Um, so you should get your a lot of lat recruitment there. Uh, if you're not, uh, just keep working on it, keep the weight on the lighter end until you do get that execution down.
Okay, the next movement in this routine is going to be cable flies. Uh, we use this as our primer, um, but just to reiterate what we said earlier, um, you want to keep your scapula retracted, and as you're um, pulling the cables together, you want to keep your hands as far away from you as possible while keeping your scapula retracted, and you're thinking to touch your biceps, um, but the contraction is gonna be crazy, and you're not gonna be able to do it, so set numero uno. Alright, so the next movement is going to be the DB lateral raise. So you guys have seen this all over Instagram and also our YouTube channel before, but just a couple tips is to keep that medial delt on top and then we're going to push out towards the walls on the way up. Last movement of the day is going to be a cross cable tricep push down. Uh, this is my favorite tricep exercise that we have on the program. Um, so, cross gets the name crossing your arms. But scapula position, we're just going to stay locked down. Um, it's not imperative that you stay depressed the whole time. Um, just keep it stable. So wherever you keep, wherever you have it to begin with, just keep it there. So from there. One key point here is we want to try to keep this cable in line with our arm. So as I come over, you guys should not be able to see that cable. So from there, lock our elbows into position, drive down through our triceps. And that last little bit, think about bringing your elbow to your shoulder and extending at the shoulder. You get that extra little squeeze. 